everyone today? Good. Good. Excellent. It's a nice smiley face to which you've gone there. So, my name is Andy, and I am the, uh, the founder of the Photo Local Positive Social Action Community. Um, we're a collection of uh, collection of proactive people around the world who are tired of waiting for people around us to make a change. Maybe the government doesn't do this, or the council doesn't do that. We're bringing people together who want to make a change. We're exploring positive um, ways that we can do that. So um, what we're doing, we are building a worldwide community around the whole world. Um, and we look for issues in the society around us. We try and find issues in the society around us. And we try and find fun and creative ways to solve those issues. So we have an online community. We, um, some of you might say, hey, we, we, we have a little bit of a problem with homelessness message. We're not happy with the, the amount of homeless people here. We're not happy with what the government and the council is doing. We don't want to go to protests because we feel that that's just, you know, it doesn't, it's not a really effective tool. We're going to find other people around us who see the same issue, and we're going to find a fun and creative solution to try and fix that. So we post it up, we discuss ideas, um, we try a few out, and then we share them to our community all around the world and say, hey, this worked brilliant, let's try this out everywhere. So this can make a difference, this can make a change. Um, so what we do, we try to be entirely non-political, which might make this a strange place for me to be speaking. Um, I guess the reason they called us up to speak here is, um, is because our ultimate aim is about empowering people. It's about seeing an issue and saying, hey, who else sees this issue? Can we fix this issue? How can we fix this issue? And empowering people is always, ultimately, a political uh, activity. So we try and keep our community away from politics. We want to be open to absolutely everyone to come into. And as soon as we, we cross the line on a political issue, um, that then makes some people feel like, hey, I'm not really comfortable being here. But we are um, ultimately trying to empower people, which is a political act, and that's why I've been invited to speak today. So uh, to give you some examples of what we're doing, I'm not doing well with this microphone, am I? Stay up here and up here. <laughs> so to give you some examples of what we're doing, um, what we're doing. Brilliant. So to give you some examples of what we're doing, um, one that we've got uh, coming up, one that we did in Barcelona as well, uh, we do a welcoming smile where we, we just go to a place where we find people who are likely to be feeling isolated um, and a, a little bit distant from community, and we just go and we just give them a smile. A simple smiley face, we go and shoot a paper just like this one, which I roughly school some some notes on to like a five-year-old. And we give them a smiley face and say, hey, would you like to take a smile? Um, and so that's a lovely thing for uh, people who are, who are maybe feeling a little isolated. So we did this one at the Immigration Centre in Barcelona, and we're going to do one for a, a welcoming charity for uh, new immigrants in, in London. Because they've just arrived in the country, they probably feel a little bit unsure what to expect, they're probably a little bit nervous, so that's how I would be feeling. And we just say, hey, welcome to the country, take a smile. And that's it, it's a simple, simple message, and the powerful is in simplicity. Um, another one we're doing, um, just a month and a half ago, we got 21 cities around the world to just go out into the streets and chalk inspiring messages, positive messages, things to give people uh, encouragement to face the, the troubles in their life, the challenges in their life, and to, to be nicer to each other and to themselves. And we just, we covered 21 cities around the world, uh, this was just a test run as well, um, these messages because we thought, you know what, that sends a positive wave out, which maybe using the butterfly effect will spread around the world a little bit. And we're doing another one of those in April. Um, next month we're going on the tube in London and we're going to take a big bag of instruments we made out of um, recycled, uh, upcycled bits and pieces from around the kitchen and, and a few real music instruments as well, just for, to get some good musicians in as well to, to, to make it a little bit more. Um, you hear it, what we do, and we just go up to people on the train and say, hey, take an instrument, play some music with us. I wish I had one now, I should have done that, that would be great preparation, I should have been playing music. <laughs> it's just a lovely thing, it gets people to put their phones down, it gets people to um, put their phones down, stop talking to each other, and even when we leave, we leave, I'm starting to get a whole character playing music, which is wonderful, exploring music and, and, and having fun with each other, 
and then we walk away and we see them all sitting there chatting, having a good time. It's, it's a beautiful thing to see. Um, another example we're doing, and the, the, so we're always working on, on specific social issues. So um, in London, we're working on uh, an issue that we work on quite a lot in connection with uh, some of the homeless charities. Is we're going to start a theatre production for um, people who are, who are living on the streets to um, to tell their story to the rest of people in London. I say this is, this is a solution for a problem because it's, it's closing the distance between people who are living on the streets and the general community. It's closing that distance. It's also giving the people who are acting, we're going to give them um, give half the money from the tickets to them and half to their, their home shelter. So it's also helping them to have income, have something great to put on their CV or resume, and give them a, a, a wonderful boost of confidence. Um, Another example is we, we might be reactive to something. So um, I'm sure you've all heard about the, uh, the, 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 the terrible Charlie Hebdo attacks that, uh, that happened in France. So I looked at that and thought, well, can we do something positive? I saw all these messages bouncing around in the media, which were slightly xenophobic, and uh, they, they were distancing our communities. I thought, well, we don't particularly like targeting people. We just went out to the Fowler Square with some, some sheets of paper and we got people to, um, to write down positive quotes. We challenged them to go and give them to somebody who looks like they're probably from a different background than them. So write something positive, write a nice message, draw a nice picture, and just give it out to somebody else because there's a lot of things about around the media which are dividing our community. Let's bring ourselves closer together. So. Okay, so um, where are we going now? Uh, up until now, a lot of this project has been me. Um, I, I tend to run about two or three events a week in a, in a very disorganized fashion, and uh, I bounce around the world doing bits and pieces. Um, we're starting to organize and really, really grow as a global community. We've got uh, 10 volunteers who just took on two weeks ago who are fantastic, and they're um, pushing this message up, and they're just volunteering their time today. They, they really feel that we can spread something around the world. Uh, there are so many people who, who believe, just like we do, that positive action can make a difference. If there was 10 or 20 people acting in every city around the world who were just going out in the streets and doing positive things on, on social issues and discussing, hey, how can we fix this? What can we do to help with that? The world would start feeling like a better place. So, so that's where we're going. We're aiming to be a global movement. We're aiming to, to, to grow massively over the next year of people just, just coming together, discussing ideas to fix social issues and spreading those out around the world. Um, and do I really believe that what I'm doing can make the world a better place? Um, I've been doing it for about a year and a half, two years now. Um, and I commit everything that I've got into this. Um, I personally, I live in a tent. I, I don't eat particularly well. I tend to constantly be um, thinking I need to buy a new uh, belt. <laughs> Um, and I do that because when I stand and look in the mirror, I think to myself, can this change the world? I can't honestly say to myself, no. So that compels me to carry on doing what I'm doing. And yeah, I wouldn't be living in a tent in the winter in London if I didn't think we could make a change. Um, so how can you join in? Uh, we have a Facebook community, and if you've got a pen and paper, you should write this down. It's uh, Folk Local, the Folk Local Positive Social Action Community. Please join in, get involved in discussions, maybe head out and uh, try some of our activities sometime, or join in some and then try some. Um, always looking for new ideas, it's, it's essentially just a hub for people, great ideas who want to make a change and want to make the world a better place. Um, you can also contact me directly on our website, which is www.folklocal.org, or you can find me afterwards. Uh, you can also contact me at www.focallocal.org or you can grab me outside, I'll be hanging around for a while with the stamps that I can give people. Um, Alright, so uh, would anyone like to ask any questions? Uh, Tell us about the community pillow fight. The community pillow fight? Um, we do a monthly pillow fight. Uh, <laughs> we're not doing it in the winter because I've got most of my store of pillows in Greece in my van. Um, <laughs> I just, I've just flew back here kind of unexpectedly because of that. Um, but yeah, every month we, we put a big pile of pillows out uh, in a public space. Well, but see, these are the events I do. Anyone can say, hey, let's have a pillow fight next week in my community, and, and people just come. But I, I, put, I put pillows out in a public space, and I say to everyone walking past, hey, take a 
feel like join us, have fun, and get people who are walking past each other in the streets or who could be coming to interact with each other to have a positive social interaction. And the issue with this, we're trying to solve with this, is, is the, the distance between people, people who read the daily mail too often, if they look at people around and go, ooh, it's scared of them, you know, I read really bad things about strange people I don't know. So we're saying, have fun with each other, because nearly everyone is a wonderful, happy person, and we're just trying to show them that. Uh, any more questions? Yes. Do people in particular include each other with it? Oh, that's great. Do people actually pick pillow and include each other with it? Oh, absolutely. Um, <laughs> in general, I help the pillow people, and I like, mm, I wait till people smile when I offer them the pillow. When they smile, I throw the pillow to them. And you would be amazed. When somebody has a pillow in their hand, 95 10 people will hit somebody else with it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next question. No? What do you want to do next? If you could do, if you could do anything, what's your ambition for some intervention that you've not managed to achieve yet? Oh, we've got loads of events going on. I tend to, to, to plan too many events, which is why I've got this team of volunteers now who are starting to, to, to build up the community. I think the thing that I want to do next is get more people doing activities, which people are starting to do. I mean, we've got a community in Barcelona that started up. We've got Australia. We've got people in uh, Germany and Austria. It, it is starting to grow. Uh, and we're starting to shift out this dynamic of people watching me as a crazy person doing all these things and starting to join in. They're like, hey, there is something there, and I want to be involved in it. Um, I guess the next one that I haven't mentioned that we're working on is a uh, upcycling market for people who are homeless or long-term out of work uh, to, to find uh, items of furniture, recycle them, get them looking beautiful and, and sell them as a small income and uh, a confidence boost. Anything else? How do you fund it? It's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> there are things that I'm good at and things that I'm not good at. I'm definitely not a money person, so I've been doing this for a long time, and I mostly find it from, uh, from working and living very, very frugally. Uh, right now, I live in a tent in Canada, um, so I don't really have any outgoings. I work a couple of hours a day so that I can still work full time and focus local. Uh, we do have some projects which are um, fundraising projects, and we give half of the money we raise to local charities, and half comes to support our activities. Um, I've proved them all as proof of concept, but uh, I've proved them all as proof of concept, but I'm, I don't have the time to run them uh, actively, so we're getting the volunteers into it to try and support that. Do you have rights in your case? On the tent? No, 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 no. It's easy to make on the tent in um, disputed lands. <laughs> <laughs> So that the tent is, uh, is free, and I, I do that, so it's not particularly comfortable in the winter, but I do it and I get up every day and I work, I, I work about six hours a day because I honestly believe that, that we're getting close to making the community spread around the world and make a change. Because I imagine that would be a question for which is based on just connections around the world, you know, international connections. Yeah. Sorry, there's pillows are in Greece. Do you call them a green pillow? Green pillow, right. Green pillow. Because pillows are in the country. Oh, I always ask people to bring pillows. I always ask everyone to bring two pillows because they've got enough to get out. But just by the nature of things, it's always a lot of people to have that pillow. So it's great for me to have my, my store of 50 pillows in my house. All right, thank you guys so much.